Doe Creek Farm started as a commercial apple orchard decades ago. So we still do apples. It's, it's a little bit different than it used to be, no longer commercial. We now use our packing house that originally was used to pack apples and starting in the 1930s. We now use it for weddings. That started in 2013. We've added a restaurant to the farm, The Bad Apple. That opened in November of 2019 and then closed shortly after um, because of COVID, but we are back open now. It originally was owned by the Hogue brothers and the Hogue family, and they built this orchard in the 1800s. And that's why the, the entire farm is now historic. I had it designated historic. Uh, and the reason it is, is because apples have been continuously grown here since the 1800s. What we think makes us a little bit different than some other um, farms is that we have so much infrastructure here with the original farm, with all of the old buildings and um, We've found a way to transform all of that to make it useful today. Back when we were a commercial orchard, it was, it was very easy for people to come get their apples because we had you know, people picking them and we washed them and we packed them and they were ready to go in bushel boxes for people to come and stick in the trunk of their car. But so that was convenient, but the experience is better now where people can bring their children and the kids can see the apples growing on the trees and they know where they're coming from um, and they get to pick their own and occasionally taste them and know the difference between the varieties and when they come up to buy the apples they can talk to people who know a lot about the varieties because they're the ones who grew them. It's actually just more of an experience now. It's, it's really fun to grow an apple that you can't find in the store. And uh, I love being out in this, in this area. Uh, the farm is, is beautiful and I just love keeping busy and, and doing this. The New River Valley offers a lot of diversity. There's also a, a strong sort of work ethic in our community. And I think our businesses support each other as much as possible, which makes it a really nice place to, to live and to work. I've always loved this farm. My family bought the farm in 78, which was the year before I was born. So this was all I knew for many years. I'm third generation here, um, and so in every generation before mine, my grandparents bought the farm and farmed it and worked the apples. My mother came on then and continues with, with the apples, and then I was able to come on and I don't grow things well, um, so I found other niches here where I could also be part of the business um, that we're running here. So it's, it's very close to my heart here on the farm.